Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and I have a scrim for you today on Barn Blitz between um, Untitled and 8-Bit, I believe. And we are watching Ray, the uh, engineer for Untitled right now, on his rollout and look at all the dead bodies he has to work with. That's probably the only time you'll ever be happy to see your teammates die, is if you're an engineer and a setup for a payload or... Um, any other type of uh, defensive uh, map where you get time to set up and look, he can just walk around and finds all this lovely sort of ammo. Are they going to die again? They do! That is just so unselfish of them. That suicide is just so beautiful. Ray has got to be so happy about that. That's untitled again. Um, just truly showing the meaning of teammate. Is this, is this sniper going to do it? Is he going to do it? Or is he just dealing his ammo? He's just dealing his ammo. Still. Still, very good. I mean, look at that. He's already got his level three up. It's 15 seconds still. Um, upgrading that teleporter. So that's some excellent teamwork right there. All right. So I'm already loving Untitled right now. Um, but let's look. Let's see what 8-Bit is going to pull out of the gate here. They have uh, banana pancakes as their medic, and he's uh, rocking the festive medigun. And we'll probably be bringing out this Uber relatively soon. Um, except Red has already pushed, and they are being very aggressive right here. It uh, looks like 76 tubas, the Red Medic, was pressured into popping, and so he indeed did pop that Uber. Here comes the Blue Uber. They are popped a little bit early, it looks like. Um, they do not know where the sentry is, so they are going to go for the players right now, and um, popped on the heavy, not able to get a whole lot, actually, it looks like. So Blue is going to be able to push forward, uh, but they're going to encounter a lot of trouble in here with this wonderful NG setup. The level 3 gun is wrangled right now, so that's going to be able to take a lot of um, damage and then do a lot of output too. It's not wrangled anymore, but Ray will probably wrangle it because he's going to be a very capable engineer, which, which is uh, pleasing to me. So 8-Bit is pushing that up. Um, the little ramp is having a ton of trouble with that. Actually, it looks like... Scout Gun, the uh, demo for Blue, was able to get in there and just put a ton of damage down and raise all of Ray's stuff went down. Only one up for um, Red right now, that was Donnie, and they just, they just got respawns. But Blue is just rolling now. They managed to take out that, um, the uh, engine setup with very little difficulty. Also, no Uber on that. Um, they do have the Uber now, and that's going to have pancakes again with that regular medigun. They gotta wait for the little turntable to um, turn around and push, be able to push the um, payload through. Uber is popped again, it looks like, again, um, CPL is just taking out all of Ray's uh, NG stuff. I'm going to pick it on his cam, which by the time I do, it's... he's dead, of course. Um, but anyway, so Ray is just having a lot of trouble just being able to um, set up an uh, eff effective defense right now as Blue is just pushing constantly. We will see what um, Red decides to do for defense. Pilot Light as a uh, Pyro, which is a really good name. I like that. And um, they've been, Red is being very aggressive around this corner because they don't want to let Blue get any um, sort of just an advantage, but they don't know, well, they didn't see this flank at least, and the uh, um, Heavy was able to come around the corner and get that flank, so Blue's pushing up very, very nicely, and going to make this second checkpoint in 2 minutes 45 sec 46 seconds, and that's an incredible time for a uh, payload arm blitz. So Blue is looking very good right now. Um, Uber is popped again, they're being blown back by uh, Pilot Light but he does take some stickies to the face and, and goes down. Now the blue uh, pyro is doing some um, last work of his own to try to neutralize that uber from red, and it looks like red did manage to stave off the blue's push right there, and they're going to have some trouble getting the payload up this hill, because um, they have to be constantly so pushing it, of course. Um, We'll see, Ray looks like he's setting up in a very traditional um, spot, this little corner area right now. Um, you have access to, you um, get uh, ammo spawn right there, so it is a nice area to do it. 
Uh, hopefully he can get things up, because right now Blue is still a little far back, so he will hopefully have some time, especially now that his heavy took out the opposing heavy. But they are on the card. Blue has got several players on the card right now, and they are pushing. But Ray has that level 2 up. Um, but he is being pressured, and CPL again with the hills takes down his stuff, and Ray is going to be so mad about that. So we're going to CPL camp for a bit. He seems to be very capable demo. Indeed, he is leading his team with points. I wonder if he knows that's a spy. Indeed, he does. Gregor goes down to some pills. So CPL has definitely got that pill aiming going on. Um, they're pushing up, but now to the last point, leaving one person on the cart and then Ubering in here to try to clear out the area. And it is a very effective idea right now. Um, right now, only two up for red. One of them is Ray. The other is demo Donnie, but he goes down. Where is Ray? Is he even able to set up anything? Probably not, because um, they're doing a lot of spawn camping right here, um, which of course is a completely legitimate tactic in competitive TF2, and there it goes. 4 minutes, 51 seconds. I think that's the fastest play that I've seen. Um, so we will see um, what kind of defense or um, setup uh, red now is going to put up, a red is now 8-bit, and Untitled is blue. Right quick, we'll go over the teams, because I forgot to do that. Um, for Untitled, we have Eddie on Soldier, Root on uh, Heavy, 76 Tubas is Medic, Gregor is Spy, Ray is NG, Mr. Guy is Sniper, my chair is a Gun Bicep is Demo, Pilot Light is a Pyro, and then Chubies is Scout. For Red, we have CPL uh, cleaning up on Demo, DM is... Um, Engineer, Banana Pancakes is Medic, my computer chair is, oh, I don't know what the rest of that says, um, is Scout, Panda is Pyro, Meta is Soldier, Scout, Con is uh, Heavy, Meta Sada is Sniper, and Tylar is Spy. So, <clears throat> I'm willing to guess that they Red is deciding to do the same sort of defensive setup, and indeed they are. That's 8-bit going exactly the same route that Untitled did. Mission begins um, looks like um, DM did not have the luxury of his um, teammates suiciding for him, so, three, but he still managed to get that level 3 up, so he's one. probably in good shape right now. And we will see what blue that is Untitled decides to pull out. They're doing a pretty general um, defensive s um, setup right now. Just hide your medic and heavy and some other heavy classes behind this little wall right here. And then um, lots of spam coming forward. So far, the only one down is the blue scout. Blue is coming up now. Force the red pop. Um, for some reason, 76 Tupas doesn't have his full, complete uber. And he goes down. Why was he out without a 100% uber? I'm not sure what happened there. But you should never, never, never leave if you are on uh, offense and you do not have that full uber um, because then you cannot pop it and you need. And they did not clear out this area and they don't know the heavy's behind them and the heavy gets this crazy flank and just managed to mow down everybody on the cart. So, uh, really need to make sure that um, that area is cleared out before you decide to push the cart because otherwise, as you can see, you get that amazing flank and that um, scout come and just managed to take down everybody. So, 76 Tubas is back up, um, still working on the Uber, but he is covered in Jurati right now, and right here is a very easy place to take spam, um, so he does need to retreat and watch out. Because um, we're seeing CPL is just a uh, very good demo man, just putting down some crazy amounts of spam, and um, really need to watch out for that, because you need to give that medic alive for this push. Um, they have so little time right now, Untitled does, and so they need to do the best. Looks like Gregor is up here putting some saps down. He'll probably be able to get it unless that Pyro is rocking the home record. He is not, so level 3 goes down, so some nice saps by Gregor. Um, Engineer is down, so... Oh, yeah. DM just now spawned him. But, of course, when the sappers go off, you need to be on the cart to push, otherwise it does not do a whole lot. It looks like they're working that angle right now. Mr. Guy trying to get a headshot on his opposing sniper. Um, sees the uber, which is popped to defend the point. Um, nicely done. Looks like... Um... 
Sorry, I was trying to read. My computer chair is a Bowflex, was apparently his, um, that name. Oh, um, and my chair is a gun bicep. I <laughs> just had some nice stickies down. Um, unfortunately, there's only about 2 minutes 15 seconds left for Blue to push this card. They're not going to be able to do it unless there's some sort of crazy divine interference, um, which sometimes happens in TF2. But as far as we are right now, 76 Tuvas really has to work up that Uber, and um, they have to use it very, very effectively, which is going to be hard um, pushing into this point, because they do have CPL, that crazy, crazy Debo man, uh, just took out Pilot Light right now. The Uber is up, and it's popped immediately, probably too soon, because they just had to take out CPL, and he was already pretty hurt, and actually Gregor took them down. Um, so here comes the Uber, they're being blown back by some nice pyro action, and um, Medic is separated from his heavy, and here comes the red Uber in retaliation, just mows down trying to get everyone on the cart. Um, they don't see the scouts. That's a very ballsy scout to just stand there, protected by the cart where a he Uber heavy is. But it turned, it worked out, um, but eventually. He's still up, actually, the, the blue scout, so props there for Chubis. Meanwhile, they have to wait for the stupid little turntable thing to, um, to turn and this stupid little hand to go up and it's wasting precious precious seconds they only have a minute left to push and 76 uh, tubas is not going to be up in time to work on that uber especially if he's um, pushing forward as much as he is and he is really far forward um oh gosh there's a spy oh and uh tyler takes down the heavy and the medic so that's gonna pretty much kill any chance um, Eddie's up here getting a nice um, little surprise attack on the engineer and taking down his stuff, so that would be helpful if they had more time, but only 30 seconds left and Eddie does go down. Ends in 30 seconds. Red Uber is popped to defend Banana Pancakes. Very far forward, but um, their Red is covering the cart right now and they're going to have an excellent uh, defense. I'm going to call it right now for 8 bits. Um, a hardy try from um, Untitled, but unfortunately it looks like they're playing just one round, so they did not have the time, the ability to work up, um, <clears throat> to set their own time for payload. So indeed, there it goes, Blue, unable to get that time, and looks like... That is the end of this scrim for them. Um, I did want to cast this because I got the request from Gregor, and uh, Untitled is a new team starting out. So they did want to see, um, just you know, look at their positioning, see how they're doing, and see if I could give any advice. Of course, I'm not the best person to advise, but I um, appreciate asking. So um, I think I hopefully offered you some stuff, just especially mm, that opening push for Blue. Um, when you on offense, never come out of the uh, spawn if you do not have that uber. Um, also, work on defending the sentry uh, ness, I would say, is another thing on, especially on payload, because that engineer is so, so, so important. Um, it looks like you got... We're losing people, so I'll wrap up real quick. So thank you, Gregor, for letting me cast this. Hope you guys get some good stuff going on in the future, and I will probably do some more of your casts, too. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. Have a good day.